Hey guys, welcome back to the jungle. Spring a tang here. Welcome to my brand new channel about mycology. Here, I'll document my journey so that we can all learn from not just my mistakes, but also my huge successes as well. I'd like to start off quick with a comment of the day from Myco Records. It says, keep up the great work, man. Can't wait to try out the flow hood. Much love. Thank you, man. I hope you enjoy the hood as it's a great start to some advanced mycology supplies. I'd also like to say thank you to Myco-chan for giving me this tech. Go ahead, check him out for some awesome techs and cultivation as well. Anyways, today we'll be going over how to prep popcorn for grain spawn. This is starting to slowly become one of my favorite grains to use as this is a lot easier to nail than it seems like as well as easier to do the break and shakes. This makes it easier in my arms after I have to do a break and shake on about 12 more jars. I've also noticed that colonization times are roughly the same as the brown rice, but just maybe a tiny bit lower. I'll be doing a side by side comparison in a future video. You'll want 10 ounces of corn per quart jar if you plan to do it. I am using 12 jars a day, so I'll be using 120 ounces or 3400 grams of corn. These Kroger bags of popcorn are 30 ounces, so four of them makes exactly 12 jars. I do a 50-50 mix between the yellow and white, but I don't think it honestly matters. You definitely don't have to use the same brand as I do also, but it's super convenient to just grab four bags and do a whole tray of jars. After that, you wanna wash your popcorn until the water is clear. This ensures that there's no excess starch as it'll cause it to stick. After about three or four rinses, I refill it with water until it's about two inches full above the popcorn. One thing I always remember to do is to oil up the O-ring so that it lasts as long as it can. I use veggie oil. Once the lid's on tight, go ahead and turn on your burner on high and let it pressurize. You want to cook the corn at 15 PSI for 25 minutes. This will cause the corn to just be under fully cooked, so you'll result in less split grains. I have more information on pressure cooking in my Uncle Ben's tech video, but let me know if you guys like an in-depth tutorial on how to use a pressure cooker properly. After the timer's up, pull your weight and let the pressure cooker depressurize. Once it's done, go ahead and cool your popcorn. This will make sure that you don't overcook the grain, as if it's overcooked, it's not the end of the world, but you might experience higher contamination rates. I always make sure to move the grain around as I'm cooling it as well. Now, this is a lot of popcorn for me, so I lay it across two sheet pans and in two strainers. After about 25 minutes, you're all good to load them up into jars. So. I'm gonna eat lunch. When loading into the jars, you wanna make sure to leave a little bit of room at the top so you can do a break and shake later on. I modified these lids, so I'm going to throw a strip of micro pour tape on there and cover it with aluminum foil. Doing so will make sure that no water gets into the jar, as that can mess up the tape and let out extra water into your grain jars. Once you do that on all your jars, go ahead and throw them in, add as much water as the instruction manual says. This 16 quart Presto asks for 3 quarts of water. Go ahead and throw your lid on and turn your burner on high. This time we'll be using 15 PSI for 90 minutes. 
while the pressure cooker is going, I just want to show you how hard these kernels of corn are. Not soft enough to pinch together with pressure, but soft enough to bite through. Once you have steady steam coming out, throw your weight on top and let it go to town. Go ahead and lower the heat when it gets to 15 PSI, just so that it's steady. This time around, make sure to leave the weight on the PC until it fully depressurizes and the safety valve is down. And after everything is all done, you just want to finish by giving them a shake and distributing the extra water content. I'll be doing this one more time in the morning, and then after that you should be good to start inoculating it. And this is what my corn looks like afterwards, just to show you guys a little bit of moisture, but within the next day or two it should be good. Real quick before we go, I have a website that I just created giving you all the opportunity to support the Sparangatang Love wearing my merch. Doing so helps me turn this into my full time job. We have some really nice hats, shirts, hoodies, or even face masks so you can show your mushrooms you support me while doing your mycology work. I also have a Patreon where I post daily content about my grow, along with full informational fruiting content as I progress through my journey in mycology. When you become a patron, you gain access to my Discord server. This is where we all create a great sub-community around these amazing things we call fungi, along with make some amazing friends in the process. On my Discord, you'll be able to get a hold of me with any myco-related questions. Along with this, we'll be doing giveaways, group grows, and trading genetics as well. If you ever need any help, I'll be on there daily to try to help everybody out that I can. Alright guys, that's enough for me right now. Thank you all so much for tuning in so far. Make sure to drop a comment so that we can keep doing a comment of the day at the beginning of my videos. Let me know what you'd like to see, what problems you're having, or just let me know how your day was. Have a great day everybody, and be safe out there. Peace.